welcome to the Art and Activism at Tougaloo College exhibition at Susquehanna Art Museum's Beverly and Bill Lair Gallery. I'm Alice Ann Schwab, the Executive Director of the museum, and I'm happy to welcome you here. The board of Tougaloo College said, how can we elevate the college? How can we really make an impact and have a lasting legacy for the college? Well, they collected Picassos, such as this one we see here. So the exhibit has a timeline, and the timeline gives us uh, very clear references to things that were going on in the United States at this time of 1963 to 1966 as we begin the era that we know in this country as the civil rights era. Having art and activism, which was all about, started with the energy of art collectors wanting to build an art collection for historic black college in the 70s and in the 60s. It's just an ideal moment. And for us to be celebrating soon the first federal Juneteenth, you couldn't ask for a better moment. At Tougaloo, they began to, let's say they began to find their mojo. They began to collect artists that were making work that was important to the civil rights movement. They were making a statement about what was going on in the country at the time. So they were reacting, in this case, Birmingham Civil Rights Study, reacting to what was happening, happening in the world. We have some extraordinarily beautiful pieces like the, the Thomas Sills. And as we move through on our timeline through the late 1960s in the United States, this is the work of Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden made incredible collages. In fact, he's probably best known for his collage work. Romare Bearden was just an average human being, a working class person in New York City, who just happened to make some of the finest artwork that has come out of New York. You can stick up paintings on the wall, prints on the wall, any day of the week and have a lovely exhibit. But to have an exhibit with the content, the content really is very important to this exhibit because what were they collecting about? They were collecting to make a statement about where we were in the world and to make a statement to say the visual arts are incredibly important to telling the story, to telling the human story, and to telling the civil rights story. And that's really how this began, telling the story of the civil rights movement through visual art. We've had Elizabeth Catlett here in a number of different exhibitions, but this piece, uh, Her Red Leaves, is just an incredibly beautiful and speaks to the, the entire movement of black power. You feel that she's absolutely a powerful woman. One thing wonderful about the Susquehanna Art Museum as a non-collecting museum, you get a chance to bring different collections in for the, for the greater Harrisburg community to see. The ideal thing about this show is that it speaks to, and it shouts out, come and appreciate art on every level. And more importantly, it shows you the energy of what art collecting can do to help respond to what's going on in politically and culturally, and at the same time, how it invests a whole university into the love of art and the love of expression. And I guess it teaches that one powerful lesson about a work of art. You don't have to like it. You just have to have an interaction with it. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. This may be the seminal piece for the exhibition because it speaks, it's an incredibly beautiful piece, but it's, it has the foreground hands reaching to the sky. It has the, the folks who are making a journey and we don't know precisely where, but we have from the title, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, we have some indicators as to what their, their mission is. We are open uh, five days a week. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Sunday. 
And yes, you can buy a ticket. We have a lot of opportunities though for people to come uh, third in the Berg, for instance. We are open free to the public from five to eight. And a very special Juneteenth, which is coming up shortly after the opening of the show, Monday, June 19th, we will be open 12 to 5 for the public free uh, to see the exhibit.